Welcome back to another session of Advanced Microsoft 365 course. Guys, I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. In this class, I'm going to help you to understand about the services of uh, Exchange Admin Center. In previous class, we talked about how to set up our hybrid environment with the help of Azure AD Connect, right? You can just go through the previous recording. You will find the topics related to password hash synchronization, password write back and pass through authentication. So I hope you guys are able to understand about the concept of hybrid setup. Now it's time to understand and uh, implement the services using Exchange Admin Center. So let's move ourselves to the dashboard and discuss about the practical. But before that, if you're new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so please do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video with, uh, without skip any step. So now we are on page of uh, Microsoft 365. I'm just going to click on Admin Center. It will redirect you on the page of where we can find n number of admin centers are available. Just need to click on the show all and uh, this time to manage the services of Exchange Admin. This is the panel of Exchange Admin and uh, by using this particular dashboard or by using this particular portal, we are able to manage and configure our email services for any production environment. As we discussed before, I'm going to give you advanced level of information related to the mailing services. So I'll try to give you the entire part with the help of practical. Identification of Exchange Admin Center, recipient, mailboxes, group, resources, contact, mail flow, roles, migration, mobile activity, report, insight, public folder, organization, and some settings are available. So it's our responsibility as a Office 365 engineer, it's our responsibility. <coughs> we must need to know about the usage of these points or these services. Let me start from the recipient because this is the first option and under the recipient, we are able to find the option of mailboxes. So let me help you to understand about the gap between the mailboxes and user account. If we move ourselves, you just, if we just click on the Microsoft Admin Center, you will find the option of users. Click on active user. I'm going to compare the active user with the mailboxes. Huge difference between active users, huge difference between active users and mailboxes. Actually, the N number, the number of users that you created, if you assign the license, if you assign the product license, to your users, right? If you assign the product license to your user, it automatically available, it automatically become a part of mailboxes, right? The active user become a part of mail user. So in this case, we created a AWS GCP support Tata and Teach Me Cloud. So now in this case, we assign the license to support and uh, Teach Me Cloud. We haven't assigned the license to AWS, GCP, and uh, Tata user. So that's why we are unable to get the information about the another users like AWS and GCP. Only we are able to find support and teach me cloud, uh, teach cloud only because of only because of we assign the license to these two different users only. Now, how we can manage it? Just need to open the users properties, not users, mailbox properties. It will redirect you on another page, just like as a uh, active users property, journal information, user ID about the <coughs> information about organization, types of delegation service that you assign and mailboxes and another services. So let me help you to understand about the options which are available in the properties of uh, users in the general tab. First one is first name, last name, display name. It will give you the information about the alias. Yes. The alias name is same, support. We haven't added any different name in alias. This is your user ID. We haven't assigned the email. And then another option, global address list, which is considered as a GAL, G-A-L. And uh, we haven't assigned any kind of a global address list. Email ID is this. And you, you will find the number of, uh, you will find the space which is available for your mailboxes. So total 99 gig, approximately 100 gig applicable for our mailbox means we are able to receive and send the emails with the capacity of 100 gig and we just utilize 6.3 MB. Uh, 
mails, emails, application and mobile. So yes, these options can help you if you want to synchronize your email to offline Outlook service. So these options can help you in case of adding your user to on-premises Outlook. This is about organizations. If you assign the name of your organization, you will find the details related to your organization. About delegation, so as per the name suggests, the meaning of delegation, send as you can configure the ID on behalf of, send on behalf of, read and manage full access. Multiple delegation services are available by using these options. You can uh, add the delegation service for your user. Let me give you one example, like a send on behalf of. So just need to click here. You need to click on the add. We have only one user that contain the email ID that contain the license. So I'm going to add it and save the configuration. Once you add any other email ID in the option of send on behalf of. So in this case means your user that you added in this particular panel, he or she able to send the email uh, on the behalf of email ID that you mentioned as it is. Do you want to assign the license? You can need to add the user who responsible to take care of the mailboxes for your support user because we are on page of support users properties. So delegation, it means that you want to add any user and the user able to perform the task like, uh, like the same email ID that we are open. This is the mailbox under the mailbox and number of options are available mailbox uh, box uh, message size restriction email forwarding and about the policies. If you have a configure any kind of policy, you can find on this particular option. In the another panel, yes, multiple options are available like uh, the custom attributes. If you want to add, add any kind of information for your user, we just need to click on custom attributes. Member of, if you want to add a member of any group or any existing group that uh, already available with our account, so you just need to add here. Automatic reply, yes, if you are on leave or if you want to send any email to your recipients or your uh, sender, so you just need to set up a uh, auto automatic replies. Recover, de delete email. If you deleted any email from this particular user ID, so you just need to click here and recover the emails. Convert to a shared mailbox. So as per the name suggests, the usage of shared mailbox. I'll show you the uh, usage. I'll give you the information about the work of shared mailbox. If you want to convert the email box, if you want to convert the user mailbox as a shared mailbox, so you just need to click here. Litigation hold, one of important topic related to security. Yes, litigation hold can give you lots of options. Yes, if you turn on the litigation hold, you need to decide what exactly you want to do, right? You can set up the days or hold days to hold your message. Right. So this information can help you. We will discuss about this is day one. So I'm giving you the basic information about the users management. So in the another panel of user account with the help of Exchange Admin Center, we can perform lots of tasks. Right. Mail tip, re recipient limit, mailbox archive. These options can help us to manage our services. As it is. Multiple options are available, mail flow setting, hide from address list, edit, mailbox delegation, convert to the shared mailbox. These all are the highlight that you can click and use with your existing user account. Next group. So as per the name suggest, it will give you the information about the number of group that you have already created or you want to create a new group. We just need to click here, provide the types of group means you want to create a group like 365 distribution, mail enabled security group and dynamic distribution group. So each and every options are available. I'll give you the dedicated video based on the number of groups that we have. We'll create each and every group and try to understand about the practical usage of these groups option. Correct. Next resources. So you can also select the group for the resources, add a room resource, add the equipment resource. Yes, it's also a type of group that you can create uh, to um, book uh, any physical location for the event. You want to book, a, you want to fix any kind of equipment for the mail ID. So these options we can uh, manage in the part of resources. 
contact just like at the in admin center we discussed about the contacts if you, uh, your user is not a member of organization and you want to uh, add the username so we just need to provide the information about username in add mail contact this is mail flow another important part of mail flow mail trace rules remote domains accepted domain connectors alert and alert policies these options can also help you in case of managing your email services the mail flow is a one of important topic of uh, microsoft 365 that help us to uh, provide uh, security and also we can use it for the purpose of tracing the email so guys this is the basic information about uh, uh, what we can say the exchange admin center migration options we will cover the migration part in the exchange admin center so this is day one for the exchange admin center and I hope you guys are able to understand about the options that are available in Exchange Admin Center. I'll give you at least three to four different videos totally based on the Exchange Admin Center that you can understand about the implementation process. Okay, everyone, this is all for the today's session. We'll connect soon and discuss more about the practical implementation of Exchange Admin Center. So take care. Bye-bye. We'll connect soon and discuss more about the Microsoft 365 advanced course. Please do subscribe your own Teach Me Club YouTube channel. Take care guys. Bye-bye.